Hey, what's happening? Well, we're on our way to a wedding this afternoon, and um, how do you like my new shades, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I just got these. Actually, I got these at a uh, firefighter's open house last week, so uh, yeah, they were giving these out. So, you know what? They're pretty cool. I like them. Anyway, um, we're on our way to a wedding today. We're going back to a very familiar location that we've been to before. It's um, actually called Land Shark Landing. It's at the Margaritaville Resort at Pensacola Beach, and I've done weddings there before. You'll probably notice it from other gig logs uh, when we get there. Now, we're doing the ceremony and the reception for for this particular wedding and they're gonna be having their ceremony right outside and the reception inside so yeah it's a really fun couple this is a military crowd tonight so they always put on the best party so I know we're gonna have a great time with them and I can already tell that they're gonna be laid back and fun and all that good stuff so yeah we're gonna have a great time and uh, we're looking forward to that right now it's about 12 45 the ceremony doesn't actually begin till 4 o'clock but I like to get there early because I've got to set up two sound systems and uh, you know I just like to make sure that I'm there you know just to be there and sit up in plenty of time because I like to kick back and relax a little bit, you know, before the actual event begins and all that stuff. So I don't like to be in a rush. So that's why I usually try to allow at least three hours to set up if I've got to step two sound systems and up lighting and all that. So anyway, that's why we're doing that. Now you'll notice over here in my pastor side, there's nobody here today. Meg's not with us. So um, hopefully we'll see her next time in the next gig log and uh, we'll talk to you more about that later. So anyway, I'm going to travel on out to uh, Pensacola Beach. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I think we're only going to be seeing high temperatures today around maybe 82, 83 which is really good because uh, after the summer that we've had with it being real hot and all that stuff I mean you know we're not gonna have to worry about a lot of humidity and you know that, that, that's always good and of course when we're out at the uh, beach we've always got a nice little breeze too so I think it's gonna feel really good uh, tonight as we uh, get ready to do this wedding so anyway we're gonna go to about 11 o'clock tonight so uh, I'm gonna get there and get set up and I'll talk to you soon all right we just got loaded in and I want to show you this is what it looks like before I get set up so you can see how many carts I got and all that for my setup so Anyway, we're going to get set up and I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, so I'm here and uh, set up and uh, let's take a look at my setup now that I've uh, finished it. This is the reception setup here. Got everything um, ready to go. Got the uh, speakers out, RCFs, and uh, the uh, monogram projector right up there. Now I'm doing something a little different with the uh, Revo 3 and the Revo 4. I've actually got a behind the table tonight. I'm going to see how that goes. You know, usually I have them out in front, but I thought, well, I'll try it tonight and see how it looks uh, behind the table. And uh, we're going to go right over here. I'm actually set up two sound systems because I'm doing uh, the ceremony as well. The ceremony right over here. That's, that's where they're getting married right there. That's the Gulf of Mexico right over there. And here's my setup for this one. I just got my Fender Passport out for this one, so... And then basically what's going to happen is as soon as the ceremony is over with, I'm just going to break that smaller sound system down and we'll start playing music off the uh, larger one over there uh, that I can use for my wedding reception. So, anyway, so let's take a look over here at Santa Rosa Sound real quick. Let me show you that. You guys are up north and never uh, been down here before. It's Pensacola Beach. That's, uh, again, that's Santa Rosa Sound right there. That's just a, a part of the bay. This over here... That's actually the Gulf of Mexico out there. So let's, uh, let's walk out there real quick. We've got a few seconds. There we go. Yeah, there you go. That's the beach. It's called the uh, Pier of Pensacola Beach. It's what they call the beach uh, tower, uh, beach ball of water tower, I should say. But yeah, it's Pensacola Beach right there. Pretty day today. Touching you, touching me, touching you. 
to seven now. We're just getting dinner uh, concluded and actually should be concluding that pretty soon. We've got the uh, bouquet throw and the garter toss do and then some toast and then uh, we're going to move into the open dancing here in a little bit. So it's a fun crowd, I can already tell. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, bride and groom's uh, first dance they did. We actually mixed those songs and they had that planned out. So uh, that was uh, pretty interesting. I really enjoyed doing that and watching them uh, do that as well. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just shine the camera around and show you around what's going on here. That was a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, we'll be talking to you more throughout the night. fake leave and for those of you who aren't familiar with that that just means that we're just uh, acting like the reception's over but it's really not so you can see everybody's got the sparklers out outside there they form two lines for our bride and groom to run through and like I said maybe we just do that just for pictures uh, you know sometimes a photographer has to leave at a certain time or something like that and they want to make sure they got a lot of people here still left over to do the uh, to, to do the leave so anyway that's what we call it a fake leave so anyway since they're done with that we're they're gonna come back in here we're gonna get some more dancing going here in just a little bit Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's it, it's over. It's uh, about 11.25 now and I'm just uh, on my way home heading through the uh, town of Gulf Breeze and a uh, little uh, advice for you, if you ever come to Northwest Florida or if you, have, you show, if you actually live in Northwest Florida or visit this area, come through Gulf Breeze, don't speed. Okay, I'm doing right at 35 right now. They will pull you over uh, if you uh, go like 36 or 37. They're really notorious for speeding through here. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the, the gig log that you just saw. It went great. I mean, we had a, a pack to dance for most of the night, and uh, you know the bride and groom were really happy. And actually, the groom was losing his voice there at the end of the night, so you can tell he was having a good time, and everybody else was too. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, just another satisfied bride and groom, and uh, I actually met uh, this particular couple at uh, the wedding show that I did last year, the bride's night event. So that was uh, about a year and a half ago was when I first met them, and then uh, they decided to book this year. So uh, yeah, we had a great time, and I, I enjoyed it too. And I, you know, it just seemed like they, they just really liked a good variety of music there. So, uh, anyway, that's where we're going to leave this. We've got more gig logs to come. So, until next time, practice and enjoy. Touching me, touching you,